Dobro Yitro, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Thursday, July 16th, I think, 2020. Well, you know you start your day off right when you trigger somebody, okay? Like, uh, <laughs> I triggered some coworkers today because they were talking about how scared they are with everything, you know, with being afraid to leave their house. And I started going, guys, don't. It's fake. Please don't. And one of my friends who's very outspoken, she would be a very powerful voice, um, you know, and I'm pretty sure she is a light worker. She's just trapped in her illusions like a lot of people. And whew, she's very opinionated, and that's fine. And she was injecting, I think, interjecting things into my words because, uh, I mean, I was using text, so I wasn't actually speaking. So, you know, how people take, like, text that you say, even if you're, like, you know, totally calm, just being like, well, you know, this is the, they're, they're thinking that you're sitting there yelling at it, right? <laughs> so, completely triggered her. Um, and, she, you know, she's got five kids, and she's doing what she thinks is right for her family. And that's cool. I can respect that, you know. But I'm just sitting here going, you know, I can only tell you what I know to be true. That's all I can do. You know, it's up to you whether you believe it, whether you choose to believe that, or you choose to believe what you see. Like, it's up to you, you know. I'm hoping I planted the seed because, like I said, she'd be a very powerful voice, um, you know, and uh, she's still not talking to me. <laughs> I told her, I'm like, look, we can agree to disagree and still be friends, you know, I, like, don't judge you at all, you know, you're doing what you think is right for your family and I completely respect that, you know, I can only tell you what I see, you know, it's up to you. She's still mad, she hasn't talked to me yet. So, you know the day's going right when you trigger a friend. Um, <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get the daily message started. I'm not sure if that's what I said at the beginning, but yeah, we're going to do a daily message today. Uh, yeah, self-love, boom, bingo. That seems to be front and center here as of late, guys. This has been coming in really strongly for the last two weeks, I think, um, in pretty much every single, uh, daily message that I've done. This is the central message here, guys. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Okay, like some of you, some of you are finally, finally accepting your healing. Some of you are finally accepting it for what it is. You're realizing that you can't change the past. There's absolutely no reason to feel any regret, guilt, remorse, hold on to anything negative from the past because you can't change it. The only thing you can do is learn from it and move forward right? And I feel like a lot of us, that's what we're doing right now. We're releasing the past. We're letting it be what it is, which is a learning experience. And we're using it to grow. And that's exactly what you need to do. Okay. That's what a soul journey is, is constantly learning, constantly growing until you get to that state uh, where you can finally be at peace. Okay. And, and then ascend uh, into the highest level. Okay. If you think of the 3D as purgatory, you're having to relive it over and over and over again until you learn your lesson and then boom, nirvana. I mean, that's in the basic teachings of Hinduism, okay? I mean, that there's a lot of, of religions that teach that. And it's, it's very, very true, okay? Even, you know, Christianity has aspects of the whole idea of eternal life and then heaven at the very end, okay? Which is nirvana, which is the, the final ascension, okay? So if you think about that, yes, okay? It's, it's all right there, all right? Um, so yeah, a lot of us right now, that's what we're doing. We're trying to bring ourselves into balance, okay, by balancing out those negative energies. And I know I mentioned shadow selves, distortions, you know, things that are coming up right now to be cleared. And a lot of us are dealing with some towers right now. We're uh, revolving around our shadow selves or our distortions, okay, and our tox and uh, some of our toxic behavior that is falling away from us. And some of us, it's like we didn't even realize it was toxic behavior. We didn't realize that it was a codependency. We didn't realize it was a distortion. And now it's like some of us are feeling kind of betrayed by that, right? And that's what we're needing to release right now is be like, okay, well, there's no no point in dwelling on the mistakes in dwelling on, you know, you know, you made a whoopsie, big deal, you know, crap happens, release it, move on, right? It's time to move forward. It's time to release that inner conflict with 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 getting rid of these shadow aspects and getting rid of the distortions and just move forward okay that's how you gain your strength is by going through your distortions learning from them and picking up the pieces and building it stronger like i said like a lot of us especially light workers we have had to develop 
thick skin over the years. Okay, a lot of us have been persecuted since childhood. A lot of us have had to go through a lot of emotional and mental turmoil at the hands of other people who A, didn't understand us, or B, you know, fed off our energy. Okay, so we had to go through that. We had to go through that to develop that tough skin so that we could speak our truth and not worry about persecution. We could just let it go because we know that it's all part and parcel. You know, like I said, it's, you know, you start your day off, right? When you trigger somebody. I triggered her because something deep inside, subconsciously, she knows what I said was true. And it scared her and it challenged her ego and her ego is coming in going, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave this illusion. Don't you dare. You stay right here where it's comfy. Right? That's what happens when you trigger people. When you say something that gives that kind of response, that's their ego coming in saying, no, 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 no. Cling to your illusion. Deep down, you know it's true, but cling to your illusion because this is what's going to keep you safe. Okay? Remember that. Um, hard work's paying off. Yes, it is. Always. Always is. Okay. Don't let pride, don't let pride and ego get in your way. Exactly what I just said. Okay. Ego coming in to try to keep you safe. All it's going to do is hinder your growth as a soul. Okay. Remember that. Okay. But yeah, either way, just know that everything's going to be fine. Win, win, outcast. Absolutely. Especially if you have source on your side. Okay. All right, guys. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.